Hello everyone. Welcome you to this video. In today's video, we are going to explore on LM plot in Fever. So in the previous videos, we have uh, explored on few plots, right? So in this video, we will see how to plot a LM plot. So LM plot stands for linear model plot. So we can use this plot to create a linear model for your data. Okay, so we also have uh, other function called a red plot, which is similar, but the difference is that LM plot combines both the red plot and a facet grid. So as you know, the advantage of a facet grid is that you can visualize the distribution of one variable as well as the relationship between multiple variables using multiple panes. So we will quickly go to the video to see how to plot a LM plot. Okay. So first, uh, let's import all the packages we require. So here I'm going to take Seaborn. And let's take Matplotlib. And let's take pandas. So now let me load the data set. So I'm just going to show you an example by taking a data set. So I'm going to load it from Seaborn. <laughs> so as you know, Seaborn has uh, many data sets. So I'm going to take one data set from Seaborn package. So let's say sns.load underscore data set. And let me take one data set from this. Let me create an object for data frame. So when I call this, I can see iris data set. All right. So let me take two variables from this and uh, let's have a line plot. So to have, sorry, LM plot. So to have a LM plot, let's say sns.lm plot. So this is a function we have for LM plot, right? And let me pass the data. So x, let me take one variable. Let's say sub length. And let's say y, <clears throat> any variable we can take, let's say petal width. And let's say data df. So first let us try to plot this. So if you see here, this is the uh, regression line, right? So basically you're getting a plot which gives you a regression line and you can also see the scatter plot here, right? So basically LM plot is used to find the relationship between two variables, okay? So here we have taken sepal length and petal width. So what kind of relationship we can see from this plot? So as you can see, as the sepal length increases, the petal width increases, right? So you can see high correlation between these two variables. So this LM plot gives you a scatter plot as well as it gives you a linear regression line, okay? So let's say if I want to have only the scatter plot. So for that, you can use another parameter called a scatter and give it as false. So now you will have only the linear regression line. Okay. And similarly, if you want to have only the scatter plot, okay, then you can use a parameter called fit underscore rig and give it as false so that you will have only scattered plot, okay? So let's say 
<clears throat> if I wanted to uh, differentiate between the species, so here you can see we have three different species in this data set, right? Cetosa, Versicolor, and Virginica. So in this plot, I can see all the uh, species together. So let's say I wanted to have a different plot for, uh, uh, you know, uh, the labels in species. Okay, so for that, uh, let me take the same features. So here, I'll give a hue parameter. So basically, hue parameter will differentiate the labels okay by mapping different colors for the each label so let me take species so when i use hue parameter you can see three plots means we have three labels for species so you can see a separate plot for setosa versicolor and virginica so now you can see the relationship uh, category wise so uh, setosa is blue and versicolor is orange and green is uh, virginica. So you can see how the relationship uh, between sepal length and petal width for each category. Right, as you can see, uh, we have high correlation between sepal length and petal width for virginica than the other two. Right, no, for versicolor we have high correlation, right? But whereas for uh, setosa, you can see has less correlation, right? So category-wise, you can see the relationship using U parameter, right? So you can also have separate markers for this. So for that, I'll just use marker parameter. And since we have three categories, I'll pass three values here. Let's see, asterisk and let's say X. So what do we see here? For each category, you can see we have different markers. So you can use this markers parameter to have different markers for each category, right? So there are so many options in LM plot. <clears throat> so let me use facet grid. So as I told, LM plot is a combination of uh, rec plot and a facet grid, right? And the advantage of facet grid is that you can visualize single variable as well as multiple variables, and uh, it uses multiple planes. You can have small, uh, you know, multiple uh, plots, right? So let us uh, see how to use that so i'm going to take the same variables so let me just copy this so it basically reduces the time so here instead of marker let me take call parameter and let's say species so let's see what happens here so this is a concept of facet grid. So you can see that for each category, I get a subplot, right? So you can visualize each uh, category. Okay. So this is the advantage of uh, facet grid. So you can use call parameter and for any uh, feature that you take here, category wise, you can see the subplots. right so you can take any variable so let's say petal length and let's observe how the relationship is so you are uh, seeing the relationship between petal length and petal width category wise right so you can see that there's high correlation between petal length and petal width for versicolor right <clears throat> so lm plot basically gives you the 
relationship between uh, two variables. Okay, so it combines rec plot. So rec plot is the linear regression line that you have. So basically, we use LM plot for creating linear model for our data, right? And it tells the relationship by uh, giving you the uh, linear uh, linear regression line, and you you will have the scatter plot as well. So basically, scatter plot uh, again gives you the relationship between two variables, right? So you can use LM plot when you have two variable, two continuous variable, and if you wanted to find the relationship between them. Thank you.